Are we vibey? Hello everybody, it seems like I've time traveled back 10 years into my YouTube career because today we're doing a what's in my everyday bag. Hi guys, if you're new here, my name is Aaliyah and I'm a 21 year old lifestyle YouTuber, but if you're not new, Baby already knew this. For some reason, these little what's in my everyday bag or like college bag videos are just coming back. They're having a research, you know? They're having a research. Nobody asked for this, but I'm feeling really nostalgic as of recently. So you know what? Let's just film something fun. Let's do something fun. And I'm very happy to say that for today's video, it is sponsored by BetterHelp. So thank you, BetterHelp, for sponsoring today's video. But there's really no reason to keep talking, so let's go ahead and just jump right into it. <laughs> this is my everyday bag. I am, in fact, a tote girly, never beating the bisexual tote carrying allegations. This is just a cost tote that I got off stock X. I'm gonna insert a screenshot of what it exactly is called on stock X because you guys always ask me where this bag is from I've had this bag for over a year now and I use it as my everyday essentials bag I'll occasionally switch it up and use a new bag and stuff like that, but this I always come back to Old Reliable. I love the material. This is actually a very spacious tote bag, but it's not too big to the point where I can carry too much and then all of a sudden I have scoliosis developing because I have too much in my tote and I'm walking with a limp, not a switch. So we don't like that. It has a little cause man sitting on it, nothing crazy. It goes with every outfit because of its neutral colors and I love this bag. So first thing I always keep in my bag is in fact my keys. I got this off-white keychain. It's not real. I got this off of Amazon. I just think I beat my keychains out to be getting super nice stuff. So that's why I got mine off Amazon. It came in like a set of two of like a wrist one and a long one. I think I'm gonna rebuy it for the wrist one because this long one I'm just really not feeling right now. But I actually really like this off-white design. Um, I think it's super cute, very durable. I've had this for over a year or two now. So absolutely love it. And then on my keys, I'm not gonna show you the exact cuts, but something that makes it a little more personal. I have this Jamaica a keychain my mom got me when she visited Jamaica this past May and of course my car key whose battery can never maintain itself and I have stuff like my house key my back door key my pool fob mailbox key my mom's house key my dad's house key and my Nana's house key she's very booked I have access to a lot of homes on one singular keychain now next thing that I always keep in my bag is in fact let me cover this up because folks are crazy. I'm gonna show you what my wallet looks like straight out of my bag. I'm trying to push my license out so you can't see too much, but this is the wallet that I have. I actually had this YSL wallet in black and then I lost it and then the people at Autobell found it, but I like the green one a little bit more. So I have this green limited edition YSL card holder. I usually keep my license, debit and credit card in the front and then I keep a dollar in here. So whenever I see my niece or nephew, I give them a dollar. I don't like carrying cash, but this goes to their college fund when I see them. So here's a dollar, I have two. So I guess my niece Pooh's getting two dollars next time I see her. I have my Aruba dollars. I brought this wallet to Aruba, almost lost it in Aruba because I was intoxicated on the beach have myself a good old time. And I literally still have the Aruba cash that I traded in Aruba in here because I wanted some. I wanna start collecting cash for every country that I visit. I'm mad that I didn't get new Jamaican money when I went in May, but hopefully when I go back, whenever I do go back, I can get some more because look how cute this Aruba money is. I really need to take this out. That I wanna make a scrapbook of all my findings, blah, blah, blah. Y'all will hear about that in a vlog, but we're talking about this right now. Also in my wallet, which probably shouldn't be in my wallet, is in fact my vaccine card. I have my vaccine card. I didn't have this for over a year. I thought I lost it and I came back when the auto bill people found my other wallet. Also in my wallet, we're moving on to the back. I have my Barnes and Noble, uh, I can't get this out, but my Barnes and Noble membership card, my Cash App card, which I do not use. I don't even know why I have one because I don't like Cash App. I'm a Zelle girly all the way. I have a Starbucks gift card and then I think a gift card, I just broke like six nails. Can I really not get these out? Oh, there's sand in it. That's why I can't get it out. It's sticky, hold on. Two seconds, y'all. Okay, I can't get it out, but there's a Starbucks gift card right here. And then I think a gift card that my grandparents gave me to like Longhorn or something like that. I haven't used it yet because I haven't been in a real like sit down restaurant mood, but that's everything in my wallet. I also, fun fact, keep one or two SD cards in my wallet at all times. And right now I have this SanDisk micro SD card reader in here because I use micro SD cards in my smaller cameras. And I used to keep an SD card in here, but both of them are in the cameras right now, so. Fun fact, just creator teams. Next thing that I always keep in my bag, this phone. One thing about me, this phone's gonna be either on my hip or in my bag. I have a iPhone 13 Pro, I think, with just this black silicone, silicone case on it, nothing crazy. Something I always keep in my bag that's on my phone is therapy. So thank you BetterHelp for sponsoring today's video. If you don't know what BetterHelp is, BetterHelp is a online therapy platform that is accessible via phone, tablet, or computer, wherever you can log in, that gives you access to hundreds of thousands of licensed therapists. Now, if you're interested in checking out any therapist, all you do is really fill out this little quiz about yourself, your age, what do you want out of therapy, and they will match you with somebody. And the cool thing about it is if things don't work with this therapist or a few therapists, there's no extra charge and change 
changing them. And thankfully, because BetterHelp is so accessible, you can access it in many different countries, not just inside the US, and it's cheaper than traditional therapy. My favorite thing about BetterHelp is the accessibility of it because girl, one thing about me, I'm gonna be outside. And sometimes I need to have therapy in Aruba and I need to have therapy in Jamaica and I need to have therapy in Miami because things aren't just flowing the way that I need. If you're interested in trying BetterHelp, make sure you check out betterhelp.com slash Aaliyah for 10% off your first month. Never hurts to try new therapy and you should always try any tools that you can. So with that being said, thank you BetterHelp for sponsoring today's video and let's get into the next thing that is in my bag. I'm gonna continue with the technology stuff, I guess. I'm pulling this right out. Next thing that's in my bag is my AirPod Max. Wait, what are, these are the Apple AirPod Maxes. I have them in the white colorway. Y'all always ask me about if these are worth it. And let me just say, I love these headphones, but my one complaint about them is the price. Y'all know these are not a very cheap set of headphones. I'm pretty sure you can find a cheaper set somewhere else, but I love them sound quality wise. I love the noise cancellation and they surprisingly don't hurt. The only time they really do get painful is when I wear my glasses with them. And since I'm becoming so pro contact more recently, I don't really have to worry about that. I really do like them, but the price point is just kind of ridiculous. $500 is kind of, ooh, like it's, oh, it's kind of, mm, not my favorite thing. I always keep these on me because I love listening to music. I love zoning out. I love the over the head look. You rarely ever see me without them. Okay, moving on. Okay, here's a fun one. Yes, I definitely always, okay, where's the Apple Pencil? Definitely always keep some sort of work technology on me at all times. And today just happens to be the day that my iPad is in my tote. So I usually keep either my laptop or my iPad in my tote at all times. And y'all probably wondering, Aaliyah, your back is going to give out when you're 37. What's going on? This is my reasoning. I'm self-employed full-time, so I need to have access to big pieces of technology all the times, so whether if it's edit a video, do a voiceover. I do this either on my iPad or my computer, mainly my computer, but my computer is a little bit heavier. I'm gonna answer your tech questions right here. This is a iPad Air. I think this is the third or fourth generation, and it has a cute little like monogram, which I'm gonna call it at the top. Is it a monogram? I don't know. I just have the regular Apple Pencil with it. And of course I have like a paper like matte screen protector on it. And I love my iPad. I had a lot of my like short form video. This bird is about to piss me off. I edit a lot of my short form videos on my iPad when I can. So if you guys want to like a how I film and edit my YouTube videos or like TikToks, Instagram reels, all that when I do post them, let me know. Cause I'm more than happy to do that for y'all. And I'm trying to get back into sit down videos. So if you have any quests, just let me know. And I could try to make something shake. This should not come as a surprise. You guys know I love film photography. This is the Kodak regular, just disposable camera. It's just a wind and click camera, nothing crazy. For some reason, I will say this camera, like flash never wants to stay on. You usually push the button and hold it down until the red thing stays on and it never stays on. So I have to use this in really good lighting all the time, but I usually keep a film camera on me at all times because I feel like sometimes I just get like a vision for something and I don't always have my big photography camera, which is over there on me. So I love the way film looks and I also love the way that it's just so simple. You literally just point and shoot and then it's a surprise when you print it. That's fun to me. I'm sorry. Keeping up with the camera theme, I usually keep one of my vlog cameras within my bag. Right now I'm using the Canon EOS R50. I usually either carry this, my GoPro, or my Canon PowerShot mini camera in here. Once again, I am a full-time content creator, so if I wanna see something that I feel like is fun to record or just I wanna include it in something, I'm always strapped up, which is why I always carry the SD cards just in case I run out of storage. Again, I usually never carry all three of my cameras, but it's usually one or the other. It's never all three because that's just a lot. And then this Canon EOS R50 has a mic on top of it. So it's not the smallest, smallest girl in the basket, but when I do want to carry it, I carry it, especially for when I'm going downtown. I might want to take some B-rolls to use in a future video, or I want to do some photography, because this camera is also really good at photography as well as videography. Really good at being a dual-use camera. Love it. And then sometimes I just want to keep it cute and compact. Going on with my camera equipment, if I'm going to do anything, I'm going to carry a tripod. It doesn't matter what I'm go doing or going. Sometimes I carry a tripod with no camera, because you never know when you're going to have to make a TikTok and don't have a phone stand and use this tripod and put that phone up against it. Listen, I'm thinking like a creator. I'm thinking like an entrepreneur. I'm thinking about like <laughs> thinking in the way that I, there's always something to be recorded or a picture being taken. So that's why I have this. This is just the Canon BRE1 tripod. I love this because it comes with a wireless remote that connects to my camera. So I can either hit the button to take photos or take a video, all that. And I love this. And it does no charging necessary for the remote. The remote of course is Bluetooth and it fits right in the tripod. How convenient. And of course it moves all around. You can tighten the camera via here. You can turn the 
side by pushing a specific button and I don't know it's just a really good tripod yeah that's that's that I'm usually not a sunglasses girl but since I bought these really 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 nice sunglasses I always carry them around Brought of sunglasses it could be a gloomy day and I will still have these sunglasses within my bag because you never know when the sun's gonna come out you're never gonna know when you want to take a really cool picture rain sun shine wind tornado hurricane I'm gonna have these in my bag and they're super flattering on me I found it really hard to find like flattering sunglasses that work well on me I don't know if it's because of my head shape my face shape whatever but these these are them girls for real okay now moving on to more like hygienic things which you guys have probably been waiting for but I always keep some sort of hand sanitizer in my bag I currently have the Touchland power mist hydrating hand sanitizer this is the hand sanitizer that you spray and it's like misty I don't know what possessed me to buy this I'm not really sure how well it is it's sanitizing but it smells good and if it's a placebo it's doing a great job these are pretty expensive for hand sanitizers I'm definitely probably gonna revert back to the dollar two dollar three dollar mini travel size like regular adequate hand sanitizers but these are really moisturizing so I might keep them in there for moisturizing purposes because that regular hand sanitizer all that alcohol in there god my hands be feeling like sandpaper I might keep this in here for like scent purposes but for right now this is what's in there for hand sanitizer one thing about me I'm gonna have a lip product at all times so as you can see I have three lip products in my hand okay because I'm sick in the head starting off this is the glossier bomb.com chapstick if you've never heard me talk about this you have to be new here this is my favorite chapstick of all time is it ten dollars a tube yes <sighs> do I find it extremely worth it Absolutely. This is the best chapstick I've ever had in my life. This is the lavender smell. <coughs> my throat's getting dry. This is very much like moisturizing soft lavender instead of like super potent and super strong lavender. I also have the mint one upstairs on my bedside like area because it's just so good. Whenever I feel crusty, I put this on. Literally the world is brighter. My hair looks better. Food tastes better. And music sounds 10 times more amazing than it already does. I if you buy anything from this video, get you this bomb.com chapstick and you will thank me later, Buki. Okay, moving on with the lip products. I usually keep some sort of lip gloss because lip gloss is not chapstick. In my mind, at least. So I have two lip glosses right now. This is the Morphe 2 Glossy Pop Face and Eye Gloss and this is the Kapari Clip... This is the Kapari Lip Glossy Clear Lip Gloss. Now, I have been using the MAC Clear Lip Gloss because they sent it to me in PR. Also, MAC PR team. I need to know who sent me that and how you got my address. First of all, thank you. Second of all, I'm not even a makeup girly, so the fact they sent me makeup is crazy. Mac, I love you, but I can't find my clear gloss. I don't know who stole it. I don't know if I lost it or dropped it somewhere, but I can't find it. That's my all-time favorite clear lip gloss, the Mac clear gloss, but for right now, because I don't know where she is, we're using these. I personally prefer the Kapari over the Morphe because I feel like the Kapari one is a little bit more hydrating. That was nasty. Did you hear that spit? I like the Kapari one because it feels a little bit more moisturizing than the Morphe one. Although the Morphe one is bigger, I feel like I get more use out of the Kapari one because I also like the applicator of the Kapari a little bit more. It's an actual like gloss applicator, like in my opinion, in comparison to the Morphe. The Morphe one is one of those like stick straight out ones and that's like cool, but sometimes I wanna rub it in with the tube and not my lips, you know what I'm saying? So the Morphe cap never stops, it just, it keeps going no matter how many I buy it always does that the matte clear gloss favorite I think it has the applicator of the Morphe one but this one's really good. not to cuss but like Mac thank you for your services baby sorry for looking in the viewfinder but neither of these are super sticky that's why I love them I hate sticky lip gloss it never gets stuck in my hair when it is in my face and then I never feel super like I don't have the white line of death aka if you know you know <coughs> oh that was dry let me get some water y'all That was really nasty, I'm sorry. <laughs> Let's keep going. Okay. As somebody who is able to get their period, one single tampon can either save my life or somebody else's life, which is why I always have one on me. I always have one singular tampon on me. When this is used, I replace it when I get in my car because I keep spares in my car. One singular tampon, one can save you or somebody you know from certain death, certain stains, and certain chaos. So I always keep just one. I don't wanna carry more than one because then they start falling out and it's just a mess. So I just, one. One regular size Kotex Flexi tampon. That's it, nothing more, nothing less. Everything else can be fixed in that bag. Okay, this is the Listerine Cool Mint Pocket Mist. If you don't know what this is, it's a spray that you spray in your mouth if your breath smells crazy. Now, I'm a coffee drinker. I be smelling like coffee. Okay, I just smell coffee. 
Ooh, I be smelling like coffee. So I be having, <laughs> I use this when I can't get access to my Colgate Wisp little pack. If you've ever had the Listerine pocket, like not a chew, it's like the little pieces of paper. Do you know what I'm talking about? Way worse when it comes to like what this is. This is like a spray and once you swallow it, it's like dumb. But that little piece of paper I used to carry all the time and I just had to let it go because it was so strong. So I got this instead and I love it. Sometimes I do in fact like put this on my keys or something like that, but I've been carrying it around just willy nilly like in my bag. It's fun. I used to have these a lot when I was in college. Maybe I should do what I used to keep in my college bag as a student who was just getting by. Huh, the next thing that I keep in my bag. This is the, you can't even tell because it rubbed off. This is the Femme Zara perfume. It's like my fifth bottle of this stuff. Matter of fact, let me re-up. I love this the way that I love the light blue YSL smell on men. It's so wonderful and decadent. It feels light, it feels airy. It smells very clean. This is the best $10 perfume you can ever get your hands on. Oh my gosh. The smell doesn't last long, which is why I carry it. This, this, that bitch. That bitch. Well, I don't, I don't know if I wanna count this as in my bag or in my car, but I will say I always have Edge Booster on me somewhere. Whether it's in my bag or in my car, I have Edge Booster around me no matter where because you never know when, you know, when I'm gonna need it or somebody I know is gonna need it. Just a little touch up in the car with the spare toothbrushes that I have in there, four edges, and I just keep this on there. This is the Style Factor Edge Booster Stronghold Water-Based Pomade. This is the Lemon Berry Scent. Stronghold and high shine with natural argan oil and it has a five out of five hold power, which I can hold wholeheartedly agree with. Y'all always ask me how I do my eyebrows and I actually use my Eds Booster on my eyebrows to get them like laid down and have that almost like laminated look. That's everything I keep in my bag. That is it for today's video. This was a very quick one, quick little sit down video, nothing crazy. I kind of miss doing these because it's so easy to just sit down, talk for 40 minutes and then be done. So let me know if you guys want to see anything else once again that is sit down-ish. Um, I'm kind of thinking of doing that how I film and edit my YouTube videos in short form content. Also interested in maybe doing a girl talk sooner or later. So just let me know what you guys are interested in seeing aside from those two things because they're definitely on the list. Once again, thank you BetterHelp for sponsoring today's video. Check out betterhelp.com slash Aaliyah for 10% off your first month. Don't forget, it's super easy. Sign up, take a quiz, get matched, don't like them, switch again, bad experience, switch again. You just never know what's gonna happen and thankfully they have thousands of people in that network so the opportunities are endless to switch. So thank you so much again for sponsoring and make sure you check out that link in my description and make sure you guys like the video, subscribe if you're new. Let me know if you subscribed. I'm reading all my comments per usual. And yeah, thank you guys so much again for watching today's video and I will see you guys on the next one. Bye everybody. Mm -hmm.